This is Greg's extra large 29er Santa Cruz V10. CC in, in custom colorway inspired by the South African flag. He runs a Fox 40 fork and a DHX2 shock. With, well, normally a 575 spring, but we've got a different link, so we're going to go down to 550. Uh, just because the link's a bit different, so it kind of feels nicer on, with the uh, 550 on. Um, with the shock, we have three clicks of high speed rebound and nine clicks of low speed. Compression is fully open on the high speed compression and then low speed kind of moves a little bit but uh, around 12 at the moment. Um, well I'll say something, Greg won't agree and then eventually you'll hear the same thing off Geordie and then he normally agrees. But then equally, he might just not like what anybody says because it's, it's great. Well, he's the one that's got to ride it, isn't he? So if he doesn't like the way it feels, even if... Mate, this is hard to like work and chat. Oh, if you'd like to come to this table, no, which table? This table, we use St. Cranks. Don't let anybody else tell you any different. Uh, 165, Sega. 165 with a 34 twift chainring. And it pairs absolutely lovely with the Shimano chain device. He did start um, on a 36 tooth chain ring last year, um, which probably has got a little bit better performance maybe out the rear, but he preferred the gearing ratio of the 34 and a little bit extra ground clearance doesn't hurt anybody. So that's what we went with. 10 speed even, sorry, correct myself if I'm wrong. 10 speed with the top two gears cut off, so a homemade eight speed cassette with a spread of 11 to 21, I think it is. But yeah, I wouldn't dream of running seven speed, mate. Oh, if you'd like to look at this bike, this bike has a beautiful Saint rear derailleur. Beautiful, 10 speed, cut down to eight. Braking performance. It's a great subject, I'm glad you brought it up. So for brakes, we like to run now an XTR lever um, with a Saint caliper with one side resin pad, one side metal, best of both worlds, um, with two or three Icetech rotors, generously provided to us by Shimano. Um, if it is, whoops, if it rains, We'll um, we'll go to full metal, and if there's if there's a load of water, then we'll go finless as well, just to keep a bit of heat in there and get a little mud guard going on the top. But yeah, typically speaking, any other track, any other race, it's 50-50. Oh, we can do this. So we used to run the Chris King Bosworks, which is zero angle and plus eight mil in reach, but we're actually running. Um, prototype headset at the minute, which is a plus 5.2 mil reach with half a degree um, slacker angle in it. Oh mate, we've got all the length. Um, so we have a 50 mil Mark III, I think. I'm not really sure what Mark it is, but it's a Berg Tech direct mount stem, 50 mil with Berg Tech 30 mil rise ride wide bars. We have the signature Greg Minar grip, which comes in two compounds. We use the firmer. Uh, five degrees up, uh, nine back. Beautiful numbers then, mate. Beautiful. Uh, we are on the big cloud, mate. You just, you don't even know you're there. It's like sitting on air. I do like it, mate. We're just flat shooting from the hip. Ba -ba -bam, quick fire. Uh, Chris King hubs on reserve um, DH rims with the. Um, here he is, the man himself. How are you? You're looking, you're looking reborn, mate. 
Um, he's basically bothering me, and I'm and I'm trying to work. <laughs> it's going to be pretty dry, I think, and and pretty fast, right? That looks that way. Yeah, I reckon. That's the guy up front. DHR on the rear. That's the guy is a 2.5, and uh, when I run a DHR, I like to run a 2.4, and that's just a a good combo for me for like really high speed. We have 32, well 33 holes technically, but 30, 32 all rims mate, plus the valve. Oh, only, only PTs mate, PTs sealant, water soluble, just give it a quick hose mate, away she goes. Mate, I was just saying how yours was like proper, like in-depth technical bike check and mine's has just so far been an app, don't, don't, film, don't film that. You have to have a close up, don't film that. Uh, we are sponsored by the lovely people at WD40. Well, this year we don't seem to stop using the bike wash because it's been wet at every round. So that gets an absolute hammer in. Um, we also use the brake cleaner. We use the WD Specialist High Performance Silicon Lubricant because that's really easy to so. say. Like karaoke. Yeah. Thank you, Thomas, keeping me on brand.